We're going to get set up to do Android development in our Mac environment. First step is to download the Android, Android SDK starter package. So I'm going to go to the android.com developer site and uh, get that download going. Okay, now I've got the uh, starter kit downloaded. I'm simply going to unpack it and copy it over to my home directory. All right, the next step is to download the Eclipse IDE. So I followed the link from android.com and I'm just going to go down and grab the Eclipse download from one of the mirror sites here. And once it's downloaded, once again, I'm just going to unpack the archive and then move it over to my home directory. And then I'm going to start up Eclipse by running the Eclipse app. Give it a default work directory, workspace directory. Go to the workbench. And the next step now is to install the um, Eclipse ADT plugin. So in order to do this, I need to get a link out of the off the uh, ADT plugin instructions. So you're going to grab this link right here and paste it here. Give it any old name. And we're going to click through all the defaults here on the plugin install wizard. All right, and now it's downloading. All right, when prompted, I'm going to go ahead and have Eclipse restart. All right, now I've got the ADT plugin. I need to tell Eclipse where I've installed the Android SDK. So you remember the starter package we did in the first step. I put that in my home directory, so I'm simply going to tell Eclipse here under Preferences Android, where that is. And now the next step is to actually download the various um, Android SDK levels. So I'm going to grab all the different versions of the Android API. And in addition, I'm going to go down to third-party add-ons and I'm going to grab the Google add-ons. These are um, what I need in order to do uh, Google Maps and, and various other uh, Google add-ons to Android. Okay, now it's been uh, all of the APIs are downloaded and at this point I now have a completely functional Android development environment. Thanks for watching.